In this SketchUp Pro 2022 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make different pedestal designs and iterate them for putting small objects like jewelry or sculptures or any other object that you may want to display. The simplest way to make a pedestal is to grab the rectangle tool by pressing R or clicking on the large tool set. Then we can draw a rectangle by clicking, releasing the mouse button, and then we could type one foot comma one foot. Now we have a one foot square box. Press P for the push pull in SketchUp, and then we can pull up, and let's say this will be three feet. So now we have a basic pedestal right here, and then we can press the space bar, triple click, press Control or Command G to group it. You can also right click and make it a group right there. So now I have a pedestal, but this is kind of boring. It's not the most exciting thing. So Let's go ahead and see what other options we could do. Let's make a pedestal that has a kind of twist to it. So once again, we'll get the rectangle tool. And look, I can inference from this pedestal. In SketchUp, if you hold on existing geometry for a couple seconds, then drag away, you'll see an inference point. So then I'm going to go ahead and type one foot, comma, one foot, press enter. Now I have another pedestal, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to inference right here but this time i'm going to press spacebar select this object so i'm going to press q to get the rotate tool and what i want to do is be able to rotate around the center to do that go on one midpoint inference then hold the shift key this locks an inference in sketchup then i can drag over to this inference click and then i can select what axis i'm going to rotate from and then now look i can rotate this pedestal and then I'll get this interesting shape very quickly. So I could have drawn that out, but now I've rotated that to create an interesting pedestal. So then I can triple click this object, command or control G to group. Let's go ahead and make a small object to go on the pedestal so we can see what's happening. I think I'm going to grab a circle. And then let's go ahead and push pull here, and then I'm going to select this face. I'm going to press S for the scale key, and I'm going to hold Alt or Option to scale from the middle. Then I'll press push pull, press the Option key, and that will pull up a new geometry. And then I'm going to go ahead and press S to scale. And then I'll hold the Alt or Option key to uniform scale. Then I'm going to press push pull again, come up like this. Then we're going to go press push pull again, hold the Option key, press S to scale. Hold Alt or Option to scale from the center, and then we'll go ahead and press P one more time, and we will pull up to the top. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and then I'll press up with the Option key, space bar again, scale, scale from the center, and there we go. So now we have an object that we can place on our pedestal. I'm going to go ahead and group this object, and then if I press M for the Move tool, I can grab this object press Alt or Option, and then I can bring it over here. So now we can see what our object would look like on our pedestal. Let's draw a new pedestal. Sometimes we don't want a box. We want some sort of display device that would be more open and airy. So let's go ahead and get a rectangle again. And once again, I'm going to inference from this space, and then I'm going to draw my one foot comma one foot uh, square. And you can make these any size you want. I encourage you to experiment. So I'm going to pretend this is made out of welded steel. So I'm going to press up right here with the push pull command. And I think I'm going to make this a quarter inch. So I'm going to type 0.25 inches. And then there's many ways to go about this. We could make everything in one piece. But I think what I'm going to do is triple click this and make that a group. That way, I don't have to worry about this uh, being other places. And now I'm going to pretend that I'm adding, you know, some sort of steel rod on here. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And for the radius, I'm going to type 0.25 inches. That will make it a half inch uh, bar. And then I can press up right here and I can inference here. And then a nice trick is I can go ahead and just push down 0.25 inches. So now I can have a quarter inch top there as well. And then I'm going to grab this one, triple click, 
press Command or Control G to group, press M, and then I will move this, press Alt or Option to make a copy, then I can put that right there. Then I can press the space bar, click both of these, hold Shift, press M, and then I can press Option again, and then I have these pieces that I am going to use for my pedestal. Then I can go ahead and grab this bottom plate, and if I press the Move key and grab from the bottom corner here, then press Alt or Option to make a copy, I can drag straight up on the blue axis, press Shift to lock that, and then inference right there. So now I have a piece that could be welded steel. And let's go ahead and paint this. I can grab the paint bucket and then I can go to materials and I can pick something that I like. I can pick metal on uh, here. I can pick this color right here and then I can just drop the paint bucket right on there and see. And then for the same thing, we'll go ahead and we'll make some sort of stone surface for our our vase here. So this is more landscaping stone, but we can give our vase a little bit of color. And then I'm going to press the space bar, grab my vase, press M, grab it from the bottom, press option, drag that over. And now I've already gotten three interesting pedestals. Let's go ahead and make one more pedestal. So I'm thinking this time I'm going to make it out of wood, maybe at CNC cut plywood. So let's see what we can make in SketchUp that way. So once again, I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'll inference from the first one. Then I'll click and drag and I'll type one foot comma one foot and then press enter. And then this time it's going to be half inch plywood. So I'll press P and I'll type 0.5 inches. And then what I want to do is triple click it again and make it a group by pressing control or command G in SketchUp. And I want to have a vertical piece here. So what I think I'm going to do is have it be two pieces of plywood. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to press R, find the midpoint, come straight across. And here what I want to do is type 0.5 inches comma one foot. And then that makes that piece right there on the edge. And then I'm going to go up and inference the top here. And then I want also a piece of plywood on the very top. So I'm going to push pull again and type 0.5 inches just to go down and then I'll triple click and group this and this time since this is the midpoint I'm going to press M grab from right here hold alt or option and now I have two pieces I can click this bottom one press M click on the bottom corner tap alt or option see the blue axis hold shift and then I can snap it to right there then we'll go ahead and give it some colors so we can go to a wood right here and then let's see what wood coloring should we give it how about how about this uh, flooring color right here this will be nice there we go and then i can press spacebar and press m tap option and now i have one more pedestal so as you can see you can very quickly iterate and see different forms that you may want to create in sketchup so let's see if we can make maybe a plexiglass uh, pedestal. So what if we wanted to have something made out of plastic? Uh, it could be something that had a curve or a bend to it. So let's go ahead and we'll inference out from the bottom corner here. And then we will tap left on our keyboard. And then we can draw a rectangle in space. And so we can draw it up this high. And then what we can do is go ahead and get the arc tool, which is right here, and we can draw some arc. So I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a point here, and then I'm going to click here, and then I want to make those tangent. So I have that arc, and then I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to arbitrarily click a spot here. Maybe I'll go farther over. That probably makes sense, and make those tangents there. And then what I can do is press E for the eraser tool, erase these two edges. And now I have this piece that has a nice, nice curve to it. Um, it's hanging off, but maybe what we need to do is press the offset key so that it's F on your keyboard. And so then I can click this face and then I can offset everything. 
And what will we do? We'll do 0.5 inches right there. So now we have a piece that is offset 0.5 inches. And what we really want to do is extend this piece straight over. So, so what I'll do is I'll press L and if I click on this point and then I hover on the line, I can drag over and it's going to be exactly where I need it. And if I press up on the keyboard, it'll go on the blue axis and I can click here and then there. So now what I want to do is press E to erase that line. Hit the line tool one more time. I'll click and drag over here. Now I can erase these two lines. And now I need to close up the form. So I can press L right here, drag down, then press E. So now I have an interesting form, but what I want to do is make these into two pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one, triple click, Command G or Control G to group, triple click this one, Command G or Control G to group. Now if I press push pull, notice that I can't because I have to go inside the group. So double click the group, press P, and then I can push pull straight across. And then if I want to clean up this geometry, I can just erase those two pieces there. Click spacebar and click outside to move outside the group. And then I'll double click right here, press P, and then press over and I'll inference right to the edge there. And now I have a strange plexiglass or metal sculpture. I could have bent that with, with some heat and I'll go ahead and give it a clear appearance. I think I'm gonna click this one right here and now I have a clear see-through appearance and I'll press spacebar, press M and then tap the option key and now I have this cantilevered uh, pedestal. Looks like this one's a little taller, so we'll go ahead and just bring it up. That's because of the offset. So we'll on, put that right there, and then we can even move this one over a little bit. Let's move it over. Very nice. So now we've made four different pedestals. You can see how just iterating a little bit starts to create more interesting forms and shapes. So hopefully you can create interesting pedestals and display devices. Be creative, try things out. The nice thing about working in SketchUp and in 3D modeling is it's very cheap to make new and different ideas very quickly and try things out and see exactly how they're going to look.